What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. All right, since we are on the topic of DEC, I wanted to... I wanted to take a look at what some of the other DEC faucets are, which really are just the card burning. And uh, I think there's a, a decent amount of card burning that is happening now and will probably continue to happen for a while just because there are so many reward cards out there um, and, you know, there, there's still a lot that are remaining to be printed. So, okay, we, ha we turned off the LP rewards, switched that over to SPS, that's great. The leaderboards are the other part, which is about 15 million a month or about 7 million a season is what I believe they pay out. So looking through, you know, where we are at from a DEC burning potential perspective is where, where I'm looking at a lot of the newer reward cards. Now you have, for example, uh, these older reward cards, so the common ones like Pelicor Mercenary, Pelicor Conjurer, and Bandit. Those are all 95 plus percent. Uh, then you have 82% for the old uh, rares. You have 79%. We're closing in on, oops, uh, <laughs> closing in on almost 80% for the epics. And then the the legendaries are the ones that are lagging a little bit, so at about 65%. So here's what I did. I completely disregarded those. So my number is going to actually be somewhat conservative. It's probably going to be significantly higher. I looked only at the new reward cards here. Uh, so for like the Ever Hungry Skull, Vampire Bat on the rares, we're talking about Volguine, Volguin, uh, Dampier Infiltrator, Vampiric Blossom on the rare side. Uh, there's the two Epics, Revealer and Tidebiter, and then the three uh, the three uh, legendaries. So Countess Sinesh, Jared Scar, and Venator Kinjo. What I did, and I already did, did the math, but you know, someone feel free to, to double check me, is I just took rough amounts of how much remain to be printed. So for example, with the legendaries, we're still expecting like 83 plus percent of them to be printed between now and whenever they run out. Um, the the common cards are a little bit further along. These are at 38 percent, but you know, that's that's still a good 61, 61 and a half percent uh, that we are expecting to be printed. And these are the ones that, get, that are getting burned like crazy. If you see there's 200, uh, 250,000 uh, on average between all of these. So, you know, it's it's a significant amount that remains to be printed that can then be burned for DEC. So what's the grand total? Well, it's at least it's at least 550 million DEC. So more than half a billion DEC can still be printed with the burning of rewards cards. Now, you know, again, is everybody going to burn their reward cards? I, I doubt it. I think a lot of people are just going to hold on to them. Um, and, you know, over time, we'll we'll see, <clears throat> you know, we'll see how many end up do getting burned. Um, and the other counter argument to this would then be, well, you know, bot farms are holding roughly 10 to 15% of the reward cards currently. If they maintain that average, uh, then, you know, they, that would only be another eh, 50 to 75 million DEC that they would potentially burn, which I think is still significant. Um, I, I don't want to say that it's insignificant, especially with the fact that a lot of regular players, real human players, are probably checking out, slowing down. They may bought their account, they may not. They, they may just rent their cards out or, you know, whatever. So... With that being the case, the fact that we are still going to print a potential of more than half a billion, uh, half a billion DEC, and again, that was I think I, I think I calculated with just rough math 550 million DEC from the old reward cards. Keep in mind there are still you know there's still 35 percent uh, to be printed for the old legendaries. And if you've had your fill of them already, if you already have them maxed out, sure they're great cards and people might hold on to them. But bot farms might not care. They they may just go and 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 decide to burn them if they choose to. Again, I, I'm not saying that they will. I'm not even saying that that's a smart thing to do. I'm just saying that the potential for all that DEC to potentially be burned is significantly high. And you can see here that, you know, Harklaw, was it Harklaw and Jin Bilchka? I mean, these there's only been like, what, 500 and something burned? Again, small numbers. So I, I'm not saying that it's a lot. But overall, I do see this as a potential area of concern when it comes to DEC inflation. I also think that the move towards the Soulbound Reward cards 
is is pretty much uh, completely necessary at this point. And I know people feel very strongly against that, but this is the first time that I've gone through and crunched the numbers. Now, maybe you can look at it and say, well, you know, they printed way too many reward cards. They should print a lot less and maybe more types. And in that way, you're going to have them distributed uh, much more evenly among players who actually want them rather than, you know, I think it's I think it's eight million commons that are going to be printed overall. And if you were to max out all those commons, so the eight, eight million divided by four hundred thousand or sorry, divided by four hundred. Let's see if I can get the calculator out. Eight million. I think I already know this off the top of my head, but eight million divided by four hundred BCX. That's twenty thousand copies, which doesn't seem like a lot. Right, because it's like oh, twenty thousand copies. Um, you know, there's twenty, there's like one hundred fifty thousand like daily active players, almost two hundred thousand daily active players. Yeah, but they're not, they're not all playing in Diamond Plus. So I don't think there's twenty thousand players playing in Diamond. I'm, I'd, I'd actually be curious to see how many people are playing in Diamond. But um, you know, overall, to me. It's this is still way too much. Initially, I thought it wasn't much because I'm like, ah, everybody's going to try and make their way up to diamond. But for the most part, this is a very exponential curve where you have, you know, a bunch of players playing at the lower leagues, bronze and silver, and then it tails off significantly as you get to the higher leagues. So, you know, when when it comes down to this, I again, I I'm not saying that soulbound reward cards are the best. Um, are, are the best uh, way forward or that they're the best solution to fighting bots. Um, I, I just think that they are completely necessary from, again, a tokenomic standpoint. Now, here's the thing. If you care, this, this is where it gets interesting because like if you care about the gameplay, right, then uh, and, and you're not worried about the tokenomics, then you shouldn't really care if they're if the cards are soul bound or not. Sure. It's value that's being taken away, right? And I can understand people not wanting that, but it's for the good of the game. And it's 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 doesn't impact you if you are just uh, playing the game from a game standpoint. But the truth is, I, I don't find that argument valid. I, I think everybody wants to be able to extract value. I'm not saying that you do. I'm not saying that you will. I'm not even saying that people who extract value are bad. I am just saying that everybody wants the option, right? Everybody wants to know that money that they put into the game can be taken out. And reward cards are an interesting interesting dynamic because you don't actually buy the reward cards. You don't have to, right? You can play the game and just continue to win them. But how many people have gotten like 11 of each legendary to max it out? I, I don't think I'm anywhere close. But again, that's we're, we're getting we're getting a little bit outside the scope of what I want to talk about in this video. The main thing is the number, which is over half a billion DEC that has the potential to or half a billion DEC that has the potential to be printed through these reward cards uh, and probably more, right? Significantly more just because of the fact that there's still a lot of these older reward cards, especially the legendaries that need to be printed. So ultimately, I don't know what happens with this, but I do know we're fighting a very difficult battle with DEC right now to try to get it to peg. I know the team is very much focused on this. I know that some of the community members don't care at all, and that's fine if you don't care. Uh, but I think it's worth acknowledging the fact that this is important to the team. This is important to where they are trying to go with the game economy. And if you want more players to come into the game, I maintain, I maintain the opinion that at the end of the day, it's all about earnings. Game features are cool, but they do not bring in new players. They keep players, but they do not bring in new players. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Again, I, I went through the numbers. I was shocked actually to see how high it was. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's all I got for you. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.